tricks, some integration tricks which are very useful for KVPI exam. First, number one question if IN equals to integration 1 to E log x whole power n dx where n belongs to integers, then the value of I 2011 plus 2011 and 2010. What will be this value? Number two questions. Integration 0 to 2 pi minimum of x minus pi and cos inverse cos x. Whichever minimum x minus pi or cos inverse cos x dx. We have to take one of the two values from x minus y and uh, cos inverse cos x. Sorry, x minus y. We take here x minus y modulus and cos inverse cos x. We have to evaluate this value. Number three questions. F is a function from the set to comma infinity that is open interval to comma infinity to natural numbers where fx is the largest prime factor of box x box x means greatest integer function then find the value of integration 2 to 8 fx dx number four question number integration 0 to 2012 cos pi in curly bracket x divide by e power cos pi curly bracket x e power minus cos pi x where well, this is the x minus box x fraction functions this is the value of limit n tends to infinity this very tricky question obviously the value of the first integer. This value answer is answer equals to E. Answer E. And for this answer is probably pi square by 2. Why? The answer of this will be uh, 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 5 5 10 15 22 the value answer is 22 and the answer of this is 1006 and the answer of this sin inverse x uh, 0 to 1 that is sin inverse 1 is sin inverse x by 2 sin inverse sin inverse x by 2 0 1 sin inverse half that means pi by 6 the answer of this is this answer of this is this answer of this question is 22 answer of this question is pi square by 2 answer of this question is e now we have to discuss the first question question number one Question number one. Integrating by parts, taking log x whole power n as u and 1 as b. Then integrate then log x whole power n integration 1 dx 1 to e minus integration 1 to e ddx of log x whole power n that means n log x log x whole power n minus 1 into derivative of log x 1 by x 
into integration of 1 dx means x dx. Integration of 1 x, x log x whole power n 1 to e minus n outside log x whole power n minus 1 dx 1 to e. If you put upper limit e, then e log e log e means 1, then e. Now minus lower limit, lower limit log 1 means 0, so it is e in this same time. 1 to e log x whole power n, 1 to e log x whole power n minus 1. If this is i n, then, then this will become i n minus 1. So we have i n equals to e minus i n minus 1. So i n plus n i n minus 1 equals to e. This is reduction formula. Now we have to find out the value of this, then putting n equals to 2, 0, 1, 1. We have i 2, 0, 1, 1 plus 2, 0, 1, 1 i 2, 0, 1, 0. This is equal to e. Then the value of this is e. You must remember this formula. If this remember, then the value is always e. Okay? Now, next question, question number 2, integration 0 to 2 pi minimum of x minus pi modulus cos inverse cos x dx, cos inverse cos x dx. How will you solve this? 0 to 2 pi in first quadrant x x dash y y dash or in first quadrant cos inverse cos x is less than x minus pi because pi is less than 90 degree second quadrant x minus pi modulus is less than cos inverse cos x. Third quadrant x minus pi modulus less than cos inverse cos x. In fourth quadrant cos inverse cos x less than x minus pi modulus. Then we have to take the minimum value. So here minimum value is this. And this value is x cos inverse cos x is x in first quadrant. Yeah, the minimum value is this, functional value is this. And this value will be, since in this coordinate, x lies between pi by 2 and pi, so x is less than pi. So x minus pi negative. And the modulus value is minus x minus pi, that is pi minus x. Yeah, x minus, this is minimum value. This is the function. So in this coordinate, third quadrant, uh, x is greater than pi. So x is greater than pi. That means pi x minus pi greater than zero. So its modulus will be x minus pi. In fourth quadrant, this is minimum. So minimum value is since it is like fourth quadrant. Therefore, x value of this will be two pi minus x. 2 pi minus x. Now we have to break this function into 4 power quadrant 0 to pi by 2 plus pi by 2 to pi plus pi to 3 pi by 2 plus 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi. Yeah, the functional value is x dx. Yeah. The functional value is pi minus x dx. Yeah, the functional value is x minus pi dx. And last, yeah, the functional value is 2 pi minus x, 2 pi minus x dx. 
Just simple integration, so we have to calculate now x square by 2, that is pi square by pi by 2 whole square into half means pi square by 8. Pi x minus x square by 2 equals pi, pi square by 2, pi square by 4, pi square by 8. This also 9 pi square by 4 into half, 8. Pi square by 8 2. This also pi square by 8. This also pi square by 8. That is 4 into pi square by 8, pi square by 2. That is pi square by 2. Okay. Very interesting problem this. And this problem has come on KBPI 2011. 2011. Now, question number three, if fx, we have to find out integration 2 to 8 fx dx, where fx is the uh, largest prime factor of the largest prime factor of this integer function x largest prime factor x. then we have to break this 2 2 3 fx dx plus 3 2 4 fx dx plus 4 2 5 fx dx plus 5 2 6 fx dx plus 6 to 7 fx dx plus 7 to 8 fx dx 7 to 8 fx dx now when x lies between 2 and 3 then box 6 then the value of box x will be 2 box x it will be 2 box greatest integer function x then when x lies between 2 and 3 then the value of box x is 2 and fx is the largest prime factor of 2 2 prime factor of largest prime factor of 2 is 2 therefore this value is 2 when x lies between 3 and 4 then box x will be 3 and largest prime factor of 3 is 3 3 to 4, 4 to 5, now 4 to 5, when x lies between 4 to 5, box x equal to 4, and largest prime factor of 4, largest prime factor of 4 is 2, prime factor of 4 is 2, 2 dx, now 5 to 6, fx is 5, law limit, Largest prime factor of box x is 5 and largest prime factor of 5 is 5. Now when 6 to 7 box x is 6 but largest prime factor of 6 is 3. 7 to 8. 7 to 8 fx is 7, the box x is 7, largest prime factor of 7 is 7, 7 dx. Now, this value is 2, 2, x, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, that equals to 22, value is 22. This problem has also come in 2011 KBPY. Now, number 4. Integration 0 to 2012 e power cos pi 
x power cos pi fractional function x e power minus cos pi x dx where curl x equals to x minus of 6 it is very important that this when suppose x equal to 2.5 then box 6 is 2 x minus 2.5 minus 2 0.5 that is lies between 0 and 1 always this function lies between 0 and 1 after 1 its value repeat so this is a periodic function periodic function of period 1 must do the periodic function of period and there is a very important theorem if fx is periodic function of period n then 0 to n a fx dx equal to n 0 to a fx dx if n is the period then 0 to n a fx dx equal to n into 0 to a fx dx so this is periodic functions of period 1 so we can take 2012 as 2012 into 1 this will come here so we write this 2012 0 to 1 e power cos this take this as i now there is another important formula integration 0 to a fx dx equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx integration 0 to a fx dx equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx now apply this formula here then it will be 0 to 12 0 to 1 e power cos pi oh sorry uh, then uh, if if x lies between 0 1 then box x is if x lies between 0 and 1 box x is 0 x lies between 0 and 1 box x is 0 if x lies between 0 and 1 box x is 0 then call x equals to x minus box x x minus 0 equal to x then the, we can take this as cos pi x e power cos pi x e power cos pi x minus e power minus cos pi x now I apply this formula 2012 apply this formula 2012 0 to 0 to 1 integration 0 to a fx dx integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx then a means 1 e power cos pi into 1 minus x that is pi minus pi x cos pi minus pi x means minus cos pi x e power minus cos pi x and this will be e power minus cos pi x and and this will be e sorry this is plus 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 e power cos pi x dx cos pi x dx in question it was plus hmm. okay this is also i if you take this is also i this is also i now adding these two adding this two i plus i means 2i i plus i means 
2 i this equals to 0 to 1 if we add this to the denominator is equal denominator denominator same then numerator denominator will be same and after simplifying it will become 1 dx this equals to its integration x putting the limit it will become 1 that is 2012 therefore i equals to 1006 the value is 1006 now okay question 5 is very easy problem it has also come in 2011 KBPY limit n tends to infinity 1 by root over 4 n square minus 1 plus 1 by root over 4 n square minus 4 plus dot dot plus 1 by root over 4 n square minus n square this Limit n tends to infinity summation 1 by root over 4 n square minus r square r start from 1 to n. Limit n tends to infinity 1 by n taking r then it will be divide by n square. We take here 1 by n, we have to divide here n square. So 1 by n square there 4 minus r by n whole square limit n tends to infinity 1 by n 4 means 2 square minus r by n whole square this equals to integration 0 to 1 1 by 2 square minus x square dx 2 square minus x square dx that is integration this sine inverse x by 2 0 to 1 equal to sine inverse half minus sine inverse 0 means 0 sine inverse half means pi by 6 the value is pi by 6 okay if you like this problem, please subscribe. Then I will make more videos about KBPY and ISL problem. Okay? Thank you.